If you love using Quadrant as your vector database, but you wish there was an easier way to turn all of your documents and unstructured data into optimized vector indexes, then we have the perfect tool for you today. It's called Vectorize. To get started, you're going to need a cluster in Quadrant, and you'll need to head over to platform.vectorize.io and create a Vectorize account. When you do, you're gonna land in a dashboard that looks like this. And to get started, you will click over here on New RAG Pipeline. Now, if you have documents in platforms like Amazon S3 or Dropbox or Google Drive, you can use one of those connectors. You can also use the web crawler if you wanna scrape web pages. But the one I'm gonna show you here today is the file upload, and it's the simplest way to take your documents and get those into Quadrant. So I'm gonna start by creating a new file upload connector, and I'm gonna use a corpus of documents from the TV show Friends. And these are the scripts from the first episode of Friends. There's 24 of them. Drag those into here. And now that these are uploaded, we can save them. The next thing we need to do is configure our extractor. And we have three options here for our extractor. Vectorize has a fast extractor. That's going to be great for your pretty simple PDFs and Word docs where you just are where you just have mostly text. Vectorize Iris is gonna do a much better job if you have complex docs that have tables and graphs and uh, text and other, other complex formats that, and layouts that you wanna pull data out of. And then Mixed is gonna give you the best of both worlds. It's gonna to try to use the fast, cheap extractor. And then if you need something a little bit better, if it can't process your document with that one, it's gonna to upgrade to Iris. I'm just gonna use fast for the docs that we have because these are plain text. We can set our trunking strategy including the chunk size and chunk overlap. And then next up, we need to configure our embedder. The embedder is going to use an AI platform like OpenAI or Voyage AI. If you're using AWS or Google, we also support Bedrock and Vertex. All you have to do to take your, uh, is to take your API key from OpenAI, uh, give it a name, and you'll create a new connector. I've already got mine set up here, so I'm gonna pick, from, I'm gonna pick that. And likewise, on the vector database, you'll wire up a connection to your quadrant cluster. And the way you do that is you'll just say, select a new connector. Back over here on quadrant, you'll go into your cluster. You'll find the endpoint here, the host for your cluster, right, in this text box. And then to create an API key, you'll come over here, click on create, you can create a new API key. Once you have those, you'll put that into your connector and after you do that, you'll end up with something that looks like this, where you've got your pipeline wired all the way through to Quadrant. We'll give this a name, Friend Scripts. And just to show you really quick, I've got my Quadrant UI on a different tab up here. You can see there's no, co no collection. I haven't created anything in Quadrant yet. So let's now create our pipeline and vectorize and take all these Friend Scripts and turn that into an index. Our deployment process is starting. Takes just a few seconds for the pipeline to be fully deployed and to start backfilling. You can see now that our pipeline is starting to discover those docs that we had in our file upload connector. And as it discovers those, it's gonna start the process of extracting the text, chunking it up, building the vectors, and then populating quadrant. And you can see here that now we have 24 docs. I mentioned there were 24 episodes in season one of Friends. We have processed all those, we've created the vectors, we've written those into quadrant. And we can see now, if we come back to the Quadrant UI, we'll have our collection created. If we go in here, we can see that in fact, our vector index has been populated. Now, if we wanna play around with this a bit and vectorize, we can do that. Here in the Overview tab, we have an option called RAG Sandbox. And the RAG Sandbox is an end-to-end -end testing tool where you can see exactly how your LLM is gonna to reply to different prompts, how it's gonna use the context that you get back from your quadrant uh, search index. So in our case, let's ask a question here about friends. Uh, what is the relationship between Ross and Monica? Now this is going to go query quadrant. It's gonna pull back the context for this question. And then I'm using Llama 3.370 billion running on Grok to pass our prompt into. And the first thing you'll see is we can see exactly what came back from quadrant. The nice thing is that we also get back these relevancy scores in addition to cosine similarity. Uh, this is also going to handle things like query rewriting for us. If I ask different questions, we can see where the sources came back. So this is a nice way for you to test to see if your index is performing the way you want before you go and wire up any code. But once you're happy with this and you're ready to integrate with your application, we can come back to our pipeline view 
And here in the connect tab, we have access to this retrieval endpoint. This retrieval endpoint you is optional to use. You can of course query quadrant directly. The thing that this gets you is gonna be re-ranking is gonna come automatically along with query rewriting. We're also gonna vectorize the input so it simplifies your application and lets you get your apps built a little bit faster than you would otherwise with better overall accuracy results. And with that, you are good to go. You have now a fully populated index within Quadrant. And if you wanna try this for yourself, head over to platform.vectorize.io, create an account, and you can have a RAG pipeline up and running in just a few minutes. All right, everybody, until next time, thanks for watching, bye.